two solutions to t times y double prime plus y prime equals zero are y sub one and y sub two. We're asked to find the Ronskian, and then if the solution satisfy the initial conditions y of three equals zero and y prime of three equals two is written in the form shown here for y of t, what are the values of c sub one and c sub two? Let's begin by determining the Ronskian which because we have two solutions is equal to the two by two determinant shown here on the right, where we have the original functions in row one and the first derivatives in row two. So the Ronskian is equal to the two by two determinant where the first row is natural log eight t and natural log six. And now to find the second row, we need to find the first derivatives. So y sub one prime is equal to the derivative of natural log eight t. Applying the chain rule, the derivative is equal to one over u times u prime, which is equal to one over eight t times the derivative of eight t, which is eight, which simplifies to one over t. And then y sub two prime is equal to the derivative of natural log six, which is a constant, and therefore the derivative is zero. The second row is one over t and zero. And now we evaluate the determinant, which is equal to this product minus this product. We'll notice the first product involves zero, and therefore the product is zero, and then we have minus one over t times natural log six, which is equal to negative natural log six divided by t. Notice the Ronskin will always be non-zero, except at zero, where it would be undefined because division by zero is undefined. But also notice how the domain of y sub one is t greater than zero, and therefore the Ronskin is always non-zero for all values in the domain. Before we answer number two, let's talk a little more about the Ronskin. And let's focus on the third bullet down here, where if y sub one and y sub two are two solutions, to the given second order homogeneous differential equation, which fits the form of our differential equation, and the Ronskin doesn't equal zero, then y sub one and y sub two are called the fundamental set of solutions, which in our case we were given, and y equals c sub one times y sub one plus c sub two times y sub two is the general solution. Going back to our problem, notice how they gave us this information by telling us the solution is in the form guaranteed by the Ronskin. So we know that y of t is equal to c sub one times natural log eight t plus c sub two times y sub two, which is natural log six. One of the initial conditions involves the first derivative, so let's go ahead and find that. y prime of t is equal to we already know the derivative of natural log eight t is equal to one over t, so we have c sub one divided by t, and then plus the derivative of natural log six is zero, and therefore y prime of t is just c sub one divided by t. So let's use the initial condition for the first derivative first, where we know y prime of three equals two. So if y prime of three is equal to two, then we know that c sub one divided by t, which is three, must equal two, multiplying both sides by three. We have c sub one equals six. Now that we know c sub one is equal to six, let's replace c sub one in y of t with six here. We now know y of t is equal to six natural log eight t plus c sub two natural log six. And now we we'll use the initial condition y of three equals zero. y of three equals zero tells us that six times natural log of eight times three, which is 24, plus c sub two times natural log six must equal zero. Again, when the input of t is three, the output is zero. And since t is three, notice how the input for this first natural log function is eight times three, which is 24. And now we need to solve for c sub two. We first subtract six natural log 24 on both sides. 
which gives us c sub 2 natural log 6 equals negative 6 natural log 24. Next step is to divide both sides by natural log 6. And now we know that c sub 2 is equal to negative 6 natural log 24 all divided by natural log 6. So part 2 is only asking us for c sub 1 and c sub 2. But let's go ahead and write out y of t. y of t is equal to c sub 1 times y sub 1 plus c sub 2 times y sub 2. c sub 1 is 6. y sub 1 is natural log 8t. And then c sub 2 is negative, so let's write minus 6 natural log 24 all over natural log 6 times y sub 2, which is natural log 6. Notice how this does simplify. Natural log 6 divided by itself simplifies to 1, leaving us with y of t equals 6 natural log 8t minus 6 natural log 24. I hope you found this helpful.